reacts. Testing, testing, one, two, three, and we are live. What's up, guys? George DeCloud here. My name is Jorge, aka George. Welcome to the channel and welcome to my life. Today, we're checking out Billie Eilish. Phineas, what was I made for? It's a question I ask myself every day, every hour, all the time. Uh, live from the Oscars 2024. So this just happened, of course, I think yesterday or, or two days ago. I don't know. I, I don't watch the Oscars, but I just heard of it. I just uh, saw the memes of uh, John Cena going up on stage basically naked. That's about uh, all I know. And also uh, Robert Downey Jr. got his, um, his first Oscar. Um, anyway, back to the actual video here. I'm not that familiar with Billie Eilish. <clears throat> not sure who phineas is i have heard the name um you know before but uh, i'm not familiar with his work apparently he is a piano player from what i see here and like i said billy eilish have heard a few songs here and there but really i don't know much about her so please uh if you are a um, billy eilish super mega fan comment down below a little bit of background information about her and other videos that i should check out but for now, let's get right into this one. I might have to put a filter over this because of copyright. Who knows? Who knows? But if you can see this, at least you can see this. Get some popcorn, fill up your water, put your headphones on. on, on, on. And let's go.
Okay, 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 guys, get ready for the commentary. You are going to enjoy it, I hope. First things first, we hit the like, we subscribe. Uh, I even hit the bell. I'm serious. We support every artist, and I have a link of the original video down in the description below. So, from what I understand, Billie Eilish's style uh, it generally is way more like upbeat, dynamic. It's just like, of course, this is a an acoustic version. So I wasn't, I don't know why I wasn't expecting it. There was a piano there and there was a pink background and stuff, but uh, I just wasn't, I wasn't ready. I didn't study. Um, so an acoustic version, I have a lot of respect for anyone that does acoustic versions, especially live, because it really, you can't hide. You can't hide behind all the, the bells and whistles, the, the the backup dancers, all the things going on. It's just you, your voice, your presence, and we can hear everything. So here, I felt like Billie Eilish was making herself kind of vulnerable. And of course, even, you know, going along with the song, it's super like um, personal and it's a mental struggle that maybe everyone goes through at some point in their life what was i made for like what's my purpose why am i here why am i sad sometimes i i want to be happy you know it's just a fluctuation of emotions it's a roller coaster but at the end of the day guys i think it's normal it's safe to say that you know within a range and um the piano playing also a lot of respect especially going that soft because this was a very like touchy feely soft song i don't know how to describe it but imagine just messing up one key it would have been so noticeable and he didn't fortunately but it's just he looked so relaxed even more than than um, billy ellish she kind of looked up there like a like a little girl very timid shy hands you know very her pose was like reserved introverted even though she's singing to at the oscars so many people that are uh famous intimidating wealthy so this performance had to be really uh challenging and for her to do an acoustic version i think it's even more challenging I would be so nervous up there. I couldn't do that. That's why I'm saying I have uh, the utmost admiration and respect for musicians, artists that can go up on a stage like that and perform and do it well because she, you know, she pulled it off. It was, I think it came across the way she intended. And also the visuals, guys. Super, super clean. Uh, Eye-catching. I don't know it feels a little bit futuristic even and this neon pink is very attractive i think it conveys the feeling that she's trying to give off based on the lyrics of the song the rotating uh, platform here that's not very common imagine if this just started uh spinning like this somebody was playing with the settings and they it, they just went super fast like the maximum speed and they just uh, go flying off stage anyway the, i don't know why i'm picturing that that is that is not professional commentary uh but yeah i don't know it, it was moving really slow but i could just imagine like they speed it up um yeah this guy phineas surprisingly uh, calm cool collected not a nerve in sight but uh, she of course had a different role and i could tell she was you know of course a bit nervous to do the uh the performance but i think she did great like i said i'm unfamiliar with her work so seeing this acoustic performance is even more um like outside the box because i'm pretty sure this isn't what people know her for right i don't think it's a common thing that she does doing this type of um style so please let me know in the comments a uh, typical billy eilish song that i could compare this to and see you know how it goes but like i said beautiful performance 
at the Oscars, huge stage, and um, she did it flawlessly. Uh, you know, she was super concentrated, close her eyes. I don't think she even opened them that many times. And if she did, it was to look at, at Phineas, maybe for, you know, support, confirmation. But uh, other than that, she was um, in her feels, as the kids say. And uh, she was really, you know, selling the performance about the the lyrics being emotional and uh, sort of an internal battle that we all face. And that, I'll leave you guys with that. Hopefully that was a good enough commentary and reaction. As always, I leave the commentary until the end because I don't like to pause the video. That is that is disturbing in my eyes. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, all that. Join the channel if you want to support me. I would really appreciate it. Come on, come on, people, have mercy, and uh, hit me up on Instagram at George the Cloud. At the end, do a flip. Till the next. Thanks for watching.